guys. So this is going to be a tutorial about some of the skincare I use. And I do use multiple other different types of products and I will do videos a little bit later going into more detail on certain lines that I use and the reasons backing behind it. So starting off, every morning when I wake up, I do two different types of facial cleansers. I do one to really get rid of a lot of that dirt and oil that's on top of the face and another one to get down deep in those pores. Now, I do have more oilier skin right there in the T-zone, but I also have acne issues and it's not majorly severe because I do take care of my skin and this is a daily routine and I do not go off of it. To start off, I wash my face with the Green Gel Cleanser by MAC. It's very gentle on the skin but it works very well at removing a lot of that dirt, oil, and makeup. Then I go in with this one right here. You can only buy it really in the kit at Sally's and it's only like 20 bucks, so it's not overly priced or anything like that. And you get the face wash, the uh, lotion, and the toner with it. And it's designed for acne. It's actually the Sally's version of like proactive. And it is Beyond Belief Skincare, and it is this one right here designed for acne. And it's the Beyond Belief Skin Renewal Acne Treatment System. Again, you do have to buy that in the full kit, and it's, it's cheap. It's only like 20 bucks, and it lasts quite a while. So, those are my main ones that I use for cleansing my face. And I do that every morning and every night. When I actually am wearing more of my full face where it's like the full drag where I'm wearing that longer wear foundation and it's caked on about that thick, I actually use this right here to remove it, which is the MAC Cleanse Off Oil. Due to that being clear, you really can't see, but it's the MAC Cleanse Off Oil. Love this stuff. Not too hot for oily skin, but when you do more of that drag type makeup where it's a little bit heavier, Halloween makeup, anything like that, it will bust through it and get rid of it. Oil fights oil. So even though my skin may be oily, it's not going to produce a lot more. Now I'm getting into some of my moisturizers. This one right here is called um, Borelli and it's just the moisturizing day cream. I found the night cream was a little too moisturizing that it made my skin very oily. So I, this right here is it. It's the yellow top and it actually doesn't even say the name of the brand on it, but you can buy this at Sally's. I think it's only like 10 bucks, um, but it lasts quite a while. And as you can see, I'm kind of digging in there a little bit and I'm getting down to the bottom, but I love this stuff. It's very moisturizing to the skin. It makes the skin feel very soft and smooth without making it feel overly greasy. And then I use a little bit. Um, this one I actually do at night, by the way. This is my night moisturizer, and this is what I do during the day. I mix MAC Prep and Prime Moisture Infusium and MAC Prep and Prime Studio Moisture Fix. And what you can also do is you can actually substitute the Moisture Fix for the Complete Comfort Cream. I go back and forth. Right now I'm on the Moisture Fix. Uh, Typically during the winter, I switch to more complete comfort cream because it is more hydrating to the skin. My skin does tend to dry out pretty bad during the winter. And then once a week, I do a facial treatment. I do one about every Monday or Tuesday and another one about every uh, Friday or Saturday. And one of them I do is this is a hydrating mask that is very, very good at reducing pore sizes, things like that. It's by Frutique which is a Sally's brand, but it's actually really, really good. This one uses uh, apricot, apricot, apricot extracts from it to help really hydrate the skin and nourish the skin. It does reduce pores, hydrates the skin. Amazing, amazing mask for drier skin types. Now for more breakouts and tightening the skin and really exfoliating those, those pores, this is my all-time favorite mask. My Aunt Carolyn got me hooked on it, and I have been hooked on it ever since, and I've gotten many more people hooked on it. It is by Queen Helene. It is the Mint Julep mask. If you ever feel your skin is acting up and it's feeling tight and itchy or uh, even just overly oily, anything like that, do a Mint Julep mask. This thing right here was only like $8 cheap. 
and it lasts quite a while. I've had this thing for like six months and I do it all the time and there's still a good portion in there. Oh, and it smells amazing. Another good one that I am out of at the moment for a good exfoliator is actually the Volcanic Ash by MAC. Uh, it, it is a limited life, uh, so it's very difficult to get your hands on. Just keep your eye open for any type of special collections that does come out in. It is absolutely, fantastically amazing. Another brand I use and I'm, I'm out of everything from them right now, I haven't had a chance to go pick up any, is a brand called Origins. They, they're all natural, and I feel that every once in a while my skin starts reacting to the green gel cleanser, so I actually switch to the oil controlling face wash from Origins, and their shaving cream for men is phenomenal too. So for guys out there, you're looking for a good shaving cream, I have two suggestions. You can do the shaving cream from Origins. It is a little bit more expensive, and I do find it hydrates the skin better. It leaves the skin in better condition. But if you need something a little bit cheaper, I like something that doesn't foam up. I feel that foam is just creating problem areas. Anytime I use more of the foam, it just doesn't work for me. So I use more of that one, the cream that stays creamy or the pure gel that stays gel. This one right here is a good one. You can buy this one at Sally's. It's called Bump Off Shaving Gel, and it actually has um, aloe in there to help with sensitive skin. It does kind of burn my eyes a little bit, and even though I only take it up to where that hair is, that for some reason the scent in there irritates my eyes, but it works wonders on that beard. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a lot. There's a lot of information I was throwing out there of different types of brands to try. There are so many different brands out there for you to be able to play with skincare and everything, but these are the ones I found has worked for me and a lot of my friends that I have suggested it. Feel free to click the link below to subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, leave them in the comment box below, or send me an email. My email's below in the, the box. Also, follow me on Instagram or Twitter at LittleTownGuy, or Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Casey Laughlin Pro, or facebook.com forward slash Casey Laughlin Makeup Artistry. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day, afternoon, whatever time it is you're watching this video. I'll talk to all of you soon. Peace. Love you.